Welcome to the Mushroom Cult Liquid Culture to Green Inoculation Demonstration video. This video is designed to give you an example of one way that you can inoculate grain with liquid culture. We will be using a syringe that has Pleurotus citrinopileatus, mycelium suspended in a nutrient liquid. We're starting with prehydrated wheat grain in pint jars that have been sterilized in the pressure cooker for 30 minutes. I'm just using the lids that come with the jars, but I'm taking the medallion piece and putting it upside down so that it won't create a seal in the pressure cooker and it will allow some air exchange. I'm also putting a small piece of tape connecting the ring with the medallion so that they don't fall apart while I'm doing the transfer. I also use an alcohol burner in order to sterilize the needle before I start, and just in case I make any errors, I can sanitize it in between transfers. My first step is that I want to loosen all the lids. I definitely don't want to open them all the way, but I want to make sure that I'm not going to have to fumble around while I'm in the middle of things. Uh, so I'm just loosening them. You notice the tape on there so the lids aren't going to fall apart. Um, like there's an example, if I was in the middle of inoculation and I had to set something down in order to loosen the lid, that would be a little bit of a fumble. So I'm trying to make sure that all the mistakes happen before I get started. So I'll take my needle and I'm going to set the cap down on a little stand, make sure it stays clean. I'm gonna flame the needle until it's red hot. And I'm angling it 45 degrees up so that the air can escape out rather than be pushed in. And I'm pretty much ready to go. So I'm gonna just, now I don't have to struggle with it. I'm just gonna lift the lid and I'm just squirt a little bit in there. You can see that it kind of exploded because of the heat. And I'm just gonna go down the line, trying to keep my hands away from the opening keep my fingers farther away from the opening by holding the back of the syringe. I'm just going to go one by one, putting a few drops. You really only need a little bit. The needle's already been shaken up, so the, um, the mycelium is broken up inside, so it's just kind of floating around suspended. And I'm just dropping about the same amount in each, not worrying too much. Mostly I'm just trying to keep my hands away from the open surface, the open mouth of the jar, and I want to make sure that it's open for a very short period and closed quickly. And it looks like I'm going to have a little bit left over, so I'll probably just top off the first couple of them because I was being a little more conservative at the beginning, um, but they're probably fine. So just finish off the syringe there, and now it's empty. I'll put the lid on just for safety, and now turn the flame off, and now I just want to seal the jars as quickly as I can, make sure that they don't get contaminated. Uh, I'm really just snugging them down, not super tight, but it's going to allow air to exchange below the lid. it. And this is the finished product. Just the grain is properly hydrated and just a few drops of liquid inoculum has been put in there. There's really no way to tell that that's been inoculated. But about three days, days later you can start to see some mycelium developing and we'll get a couple of close-ups there and you can see that it's jumping off from what was a small piece of mycelium floating in the liquid culture and it's spreading like a spider web and inoculating the whole jar at about 30%. I'll shake it around and try to just speed up the inoculation on that. That's it for this demonstration video. Let me know what your thoughts are. I would love to hear from you. Thanks.